Thank you. Well, there are not enough cops on Austin streets. That is the conclusion of an independent study looking at staffing levels at the Austin Police Department. Chris Sadegi is live in the studio tonight with more on how the department is reacting to this report. Chris? Well, Shannon, the reaction is what they've been saying all along, that they agree with most all the recommendations in the report. However, there are some that they aren't totally on board with. Yeah, it's a 133-page uh, report. That's a whole lot of what Assistant Chief Sean Mannix says he's known all along, that APD needs more officers. But the independent report just released could be the standard when it comes budget time. It's probably going to be a foundational document for many of those discussions. Here's a quick breakdown. Austin is expected to have just under a million people by 2017. To keep up, APD needs to add 155 officers, 78 detectives, and 24 sergeants. That's 257 more officers over the next five years. And even that is less than the national average of one officer per 2.4 thousand people. We do need more officers. We need to quit stalling cadet classes. Police Association President Wayne Vincent says the report not only shows the department lacking on patrols, but also detectives to crack those criminal cases that take some investigating. Because right now, there's too many on the table. You can look at some investigators, and they're drawing 150, 200 cases per month. But there's one part of the report not everyone agrees with, the part that says up to 29 of those positions can be filled by civilians, some of them in the real-time crime center. I would be hesitant to uh, civilianize that function unless we were putting retired police officers in there. But that doesn't mean civilians can't help carry the load. Mannix says they're always looking for the right areas where those without a badge can join the force. Forensic services used to be all police officers. That's all done by non-sworn personnel now. And Chief Art Acevedo is on his way to London for that F-1 trip, but during an airport stopover, he tweeted about the report, saying APD officers are extremely busy and need more help, but he's proud of the ones they have. We're in the studio. Chris Sadegi, KXAN News. Chris, thank you.